Hi, this is Doug Kay, and in this video, I want to introduce you to a mobile app called Galileo Offline Maps Pro. And the reason I'm doing this is this is an app that I use when I travel for my workshops, uh, particularly in places like Cuba, because this will give you real-time maps offline. You do not need a connection to the internet or a cell connection in order to use this app. But you must have installed the maps before you leave the U.S. and head to Cuba. Otherwise, you'll have to do it over the internet. That has to be done uh, online. So the first thing to do is go to the App Store for your device, either the iPhone App Store or the Android App Store, and search for Galileo Offline Maps Pro. The app costs $4, $3.99, uh, because you need the Pro version to support some of the features I'm going to show you. Download and install that app the way you normally would. The app will initially ask you if you want notifications. You don't need to enable that. The notifications aren't, uh, aren't important. But it will also ask you if it can access your location even when not using the app. And you should say yes to this if you plan to use the app to record your GPS track, if you want to make a log of your locations, which you can then use to tag or geotag your images. So I say yes to this one. Next, click on the little gear icon in the lower right corner. That's the settings icon. That'll take you to the settings page. And from there, click on download maps. From Download Maps, find the region you're interested. In this case, we're going to look at Cuba. So download, go to Caribbean countries. And within Caribbean countries, click the download icon for Cuba. Note that the entire file for Cuba is only a little under 10 megabytes. So it's not very big. Once it's downloaded, you can click on the little folded map icon to go view the map. And you'll see it takes you all the way to Cuba. And if you zoom in using a pinch, you can see how much incredible detail this shows you because it's all the streets in Cuba, um, most of the major landmarks, the minor landmarks, either hotels, restaurants, everything's in there. To make this even more valuable, I've created a file of bookmarks that includes all the locations we're going to visit, the restaurants we're going to eat at, uh, the hotel we're going to stay at, and so forth. So the next step is to install this bookmark file and add it to your current map. It's a little tricky. They don't make it easy for this. If you have Dropbox, there's an easier way to do that, but I'm going to assume you don't have Dropbox at the moment. So using the link you see below this video, Download the Doug's Cuba bookmarks file to your desktop or laptop computer. We're going to have to do this in a couple of steps. Once you download it, then go into your mail program and mail the file to yourself as an attachment. Now on your mobile device, open that email message and click on the attachment. I'm showing it here for the Gmail map on my iPhone. When the attachments open, then you can click on the upper right corner, at least on the iPhone, this little upload icon. And you'll be given a number of choices. What you want is import with Galileo Pro. And when you do that, you'll see that the Cuba map now has added to it a number of bookmarks that I created. Again, if we zoom in, we can go look at Havana and you'll see all these details, all the restaurants, again, all the sites and locations that we're going to visit. There's one more valuable feature of this, and that's the ability to record your location, your track, that is. In the upper right corner, you'll see a little icon, REC. Click on that. The little dot will turn red, which means you're now recording. And as you go through the day, this will record on a regular basis your locations, and it will create a file that you can then export from this app, get back to your computer, and you can use that in an application like Lightroom to auto-tag uh, and geolocate all your images. So you can then have latitude and longitude on every one of your photographs, which is a great way because if you're looking at your, your photos later on, you'll say, gee, I wonder exactly where I was when I took that. You click on the latitude, longitude, it brings up a map, it shows you exactly where you were standing at the time you made that photograph. One last thing, as we say, if you're going to take a workshop, the last thing you want to do is be taking a workshop with a brand new camera that you don't have a lot of experience with. Same is true for this app. It's, it's a little complicated. Uh, there are a lot of features, so I encourage you to play with the app before you head out to the workshop. 
In particular, there's a link below on this video that will take you to the online manual for Galileo Offline Maps Pro. And I encourage you to read through the manual to study some of the features. You're not going to use them all, but look at the ones that are of interest to you. Practice with the map. Download the map for where you live. Try the recording feature and so forth, and just get comfortable with using this thing. It's really valuable. It'll help you a lot on our workshops because with an app like this, you have a tremendous amount of freedom. We'll be able to say to you, meet us in an hour and a half at this restaurant. If you don't have this map, you're not going to be able to find the restaurant and you're going to have to stick with the group quite tightly. But if you have Galileo Offline Maps and you've installed my bookmarks, then you'll be able to go on your own, more or less, meet us at the right place at the right time. You'll have a lot more freedom and I think a lot better workshop experience. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I encourage you to download, install, and play with the app. I think it'll make a great experience for your workshop. And I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.